All right, guys, stay tuned. I'm gonna show you an unboxing of the new Samsung S20 Plus phone. This is the 128 uh, configuration. It's also the exclusive one to Best Buy. You can only get this certain color of phone if you get it through Best Buy. So stay tuned. Okay, guys, so we're going to unbox um, the Samsung S20 Plus. This one is um, exclusive to Best Buy. It is the Aura Blue. I think what they call it as you can tell here too by the box on top so we're gonna open it here I'm kind of new to Samsung this won't be my daily phone by no means but I've always kind of want to give them a try lately because I've heard a little you know they've improved tremendously over the years so then inside the box here you just have some of your legal uh, stuff in here I do like that they always include you a uh, SIM card ejector. Really what Apple used to do this years ago, but they quit doing it quite a time, probably five, six years ago, they quit including one. So it's just all your legal documentation that's inside of this package here. Nothing really special. All right. So here's how it is inside the box. And like I said, this is exclusive to Best Buy. This collar, the Aura Blue. And it's really cool. It has a really cool sheen. I hope it's picking up here on the camera for you guys. Um, just it's a really pretty blue. You do get what they are calling um, super fast charging. I believe this is a 25 watt charger, which is amazing. They include that. Wish Apple would step up their game some more. They did finally start doing the 18 watt, but um, then you also get your USB-C to USB-C cable, which is nice. And here, um, I guess it's nothing. I don't want to have that packaging like that, but nothing. And then in here is your um, wired headphones, which are actually really nice. They're AKGs, and they sound pretty good. Get little extra buds, and it's nice braided material. And it's USB-C. So they are very nice. So, and because it, as everyone knows, they got rid of the headphone jack. But this blue is just unbelievable. I cannot believe how good this blue is. And then it's nice that they also already pre-install a screensaver for you. It's on here. And so as the best part is, it's peeling off the plastic on the back here. Shows up a little better there. All right, I'm gonna get this um, set up and we will go over a few of the things about the phone and what I am impressed with for being someone that's an Apple guy, which like I said, I will keep my Apple phone, but I've always wanted to really play around with the Samsung phone, especially in the last couple of years because I know they've really improved them. So after I get it all set up, I'll be right back. All right, so we finally got it all set up here. And so we'll wake up the screen. You can either do the fingerprint or actually do have it set up for facial. Facial fingerprints very fast, as you've seen there. Let's do the fingerprint now. So facial, I think, is a little faster for me personally. But it's pretty cool. And they're, they're on power with, uh, if you're an Apple fan, it's pretty close. Um, the One UI... The new update is the one, uh, the one UI 2. It's really good. They've made a lot of improvements that I've been reading about um, from what they used to do. I do like dark mode, sort of fine match an Apple. Um, so there's a lot of similarities so far I've seen for the first few minutes of having it to Apple phones too, which I like because I really am an Apple fan, but I have heard that Samsung's done a good job. Oh, I missed a piece of plastic here. Looks like they Put it all around the phone here. Now, one thing I did not show you guys yet that all Samsung <laughs> fans are of, which I think is really cool, I wish Apple would have done this, but they never have, is in the um, SIM card slot, you actually can add, I think it's up to a full terabyte um, SD card in there. Very cool. Um, 
I think this is the 128 gig, which I don't put a lot of stuff on my phone, you know. I have some pictures and stuff like that. And as you can see here too, it is a finger prick magnet. So I'm probably going to put a clear case on this. Not a big fan of cases, but you kind of have to do that nowadays. Um, let's see what else to show you guys. I do know you can, and uh, that locks your screen. What's really weird is it doesn't shut it off. It launches Bixby, which everything I've read about Bixby is not people's favorite. Um, so I think you can go up here. To, um, that's how you're supposed to do it, which is crazy. This is standard out of the box. They want you to press the power button up here, but it says you, uh, side key settings. And so we can turn off Bixby, which I'm happy with that. And it'll automatically bring up the power um, view, I mean the power uh, options. So now let's try it. Yes, so there we go. Um, another thing is too, the refresh rate on this device. Um, let's see. Uh, I bet it's in settings then. Uh, you can change the display refresh rate, which I think is really cool. Um, it's out of the box, it's always 60 hertz, but you can go to 120 now, which is amazing. And um, I know right now when you go to 120, it does drop the resolution of the screen down, um, but they're gonna be ch uh, sending an update, I think, here soon to let you be able to use the full resolution at the 120 hertz. Because it does take a hit on your battery life, but um, everything I've been seeing on other reviewers and everything said the battery life is still amazing with the 120 hertz on. So, um, let's see. What else can I show you guys? Uh, the charging, which I like. Um, it. This is the 25 watt they have in there. And it will come up here on the lock screen probably. Yeah, fast charging and it'll tell you how much time uh, for it to be there. That's really cool. Um, this is a comparison of the iPhone. This is the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Um, don't pay attention to this. This is for my magnet in my car. It's not part of the phone. So here's the backs. This Samsung phone is definitely a little taller, but it's more thin. It's not as wide as you can see here. So that's about where it is. So it's definitely taller. But it is, the iPhone is definitely wider. Um, gives you guys a comparison there. So, I I think it's going to be a great phone. I mean, if you're an Android lover, of course, you're going to love this phone. I'm definitely going to get it a try here. Um, I don't. It's not a mass difference anymore like it used to be years ago. I think it's going to be a great. Um, transition for me still gonna keep an iphone you know i'm always gonna be an iphone fan because all my stuff at home is all with uh, ios so it all just communicates very well i know samsung is trying to get that away which you know there's no doubt one day they'll be a lot like apple and everything will, all their stuff will talk really well together but they've definitely upped their game and i just love this blue collar and remember this blue collar is exclusive to only to best buy so if you want the blue and you do have to get the phone through best buy you won't be able to get it um, anywhere else at least of right now. Don't know if that will change with time, but I do know right now it's exclusive to them, the blue is. So if you guys like this uh, compar comparison video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And also share it with your friends and loved ones and on your social medias. Helps to spread my channel around. And also check out my description. A lot of the fun links in there. I'll put a link to the case that I recommend. I like speaking cases, so it'll be in the description there. And as always, you guys, thanks for being here, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.